Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Um, today is Sunday, I was going to wait till tomorrow to do this, but I'm actually, it's already, well it's close enough to noon. Um, I'm getting pretty pretty bored, I'm getting sick of the TV, I've actually done a little cleaning. Rookie, yeah, I know it's shocking, but yeah, I've cleaned up a little bit. Clearly not my face, I mean the house. So I had to get myself one of these, I went down to Action Hobby, I grabbed this guy. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I was going to wait till tomorrow to do a video with it. I plan on taking it down to like Harvey's Passage or something. So I can get uh, get some f nice footage on rock crawling and shit. And maybe out to my course just out in the yard. So much tape. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Well, I, I, like, I like the quarter scale stuff. Or quarter scale. Um, 124th. I think they call this a 127th. I watched a bunch of videos. There's like a... The Enduro's one, uh, there's a couple other ones, one's called a Taro, I think, or something like that, T-E-R-O, I think it was. One of them has oiled fill shocks, uh, the Enduro's only a one cell with not a lot of power, but it's got really nice tires on it. Um, there's all kinds of things. The Mini Z I already trust because I've owned like four Mini Z's race cars already, one two-wheel drive and then three all-wheel all drive. <clears throat> Mini Z, or Kyosha makes a great product, I have the Blizzard as well. Solid stuff. Runs in f uh, four AAAs, which is, yeah, I should probably keep going, right? <laughs> babble, babble. The, uh, runs in four, there's another one. There's, uh, really see-through gate. There's four AAA batteries that run it, but apparently it'll run for like an hour. I've watched tons of videos, and I ended up going with this one. It's a little more money than the rest of them, but I think it's a get-what-you-pay-for thing in the driving sense, because this has... <clears throat> This thing has the, uh, I think a ring, ring and pinion, a set of worm gears in the diff, which is going to be a totally different drive. Get them out. There we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just making sure Molly wasn't there. I didn't look before I threw. And she's not. I think she's upstairs on the couch. Oh yeah, whack load of pinions. I saw that on the box. That I threw over there. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, those must be motor spacers. Some kind of tool. And then four, five extra pinions. All different sizes, of course. To give you some options. Gears. No, it's getting worse and worse. light down. I'll be okay. I just looked right into one. Maybe I won't. <clears throat> There's no light kit in this thing, which is going to be uh, not an issue, but something I'm going to tackle fairly quickly. So, there's that. Big difference. This is modded, right? Just a little bit. So what I did with this one, you see how the springs, a lot of guys shit on quarter, or, I don't know why I keep wanting to say quarter scale, something's wrong with me. Um, the 124 scale stuff, that the springs are really bad, so I don't I don't think mine is bad. Oh shit, you can barely see that. Hold on, I'm going to move the camera up tight. Yeah, that's not bad. Hi baby. I can't help. Getting it right in the ears. Oh yeah. Okay, so when I set up this video this morning, I tried to get the camera a little closer to the table so you could hear me a little better because some people say the sound quality on this camera is crap, which it may be. Approach and angle is fantastic. Um, the, so that's the breakover in the center. That's pretty crappy. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. You could probably get a little bit of a bigger tire on there. So if Yosha's has got a bigger tire out there, maybe I could uh, get a hold of them. Decent, soft-wise, it's not bad, not a very aggressive tread at all. What do they say on them? Oh man, I'm getting old. Ridge Grappler? 37 by 12 and a half? That's a big tire. Like you're getting a 37. Man, this thing would have to have like a 6-inch lift, and then plus a 3-inch body lift to boot. 20-inch wheel. Get off it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that tell you what. Uh, they make good axles, but you're not rocking that kind of thing. So that does look like a ring and pinion style axle. I may never get this tire back on. Come on. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Motherfucker, that hurts. Mmm. Ah, uh, my 
mustache beer can drinkers know the pain. Fuck the hurt. There it is. I needed a little bit of pain. Come on, cheeky. That's okay. Now, getting the body off. I've seen other guys struggle with this. I like the guys from uh, RC Tanks and something. I can't remember their full name of the channel. Sorry, guys. But those guys are hilarious. Okay, they're just a little solid in there. If you give the nip a little bit of a push. There we go. Whew! Oh, I don't know much, how much of that footage I'm going to keep, but man, that took me a while. Ah. <laughs> okay. So I had some on the charger since yesterday. Um, it didn't come with a light kit, but this thing did. I barely ever drive it anymore. I whipped it around the basement here a couple times since I didn't, I didn't stop going to Mini Z. Because it used to be on a Wednesday night, which is great for me, and then it turned into a Sunday night thing, which is okay for a lot of people. It's just I don't know why I don't like our seeing on a Sunday night. It came with a light kit, and there's a port on there. Plug that in. That's not my plan, but <laughs> it's not going to happen. Ah, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, where's the on and off switch on this bad boy? There it is. All right, the light kit works. All right, so I'm going to try and get the light kit out of the car and get it into the Yoda body because, yeah, I think it's light kit ready. Ugh. Some kind of goop. Alright, I'm going to have to move on this one. Some kind of goop on the lights. You see that? I don't know exactly what's going on there. Just to protect them or seal them, I guess? But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get that light kit in there. Give me a few minutes. Eh, that took longer than I thought. <clears throat> I didn't time myself or anything like that, but that was probably a, a solid 15 or 20 minutes. Getting the kit out of here was not easy. Uh, they were like just press fitted in there, but the bulbs are so delicate. I tried to grab them with a tool and I, I cracked one of them, but uh, I think it's still working. Are there little D-rings on that? <laughs> Do they work? Oh yeah, look at that. There are itty bitty D-rings on the front, I just noticed, and they're actually possibly functional. Can we sell in the back too? Nice. All right, D-rings are there. <laughs> but yeah, anywho. Oh, man. It was tough getting that out of there, but no problem. And that thing's still going to work just fine without the lights. I had to extend the wires because they didn't reach to the front of the truck. So there goes the uh, Castle cooling fan. Because Castle is a good motor. Most of them don't need a cooling fan anyways. But she works. Ah, and they're bright. I don't know if I'm bright up to shine some on. You can see how much, see it's pretty bright down here now, tail lights, yeah, I love lights. So, if that's a mod, there's my first mod, and I have to get the damn body off again because I wanted the shot to look good without the body, you know, being all chunky and off to the side or something like that. Well, the only reason I didn't want to use their stock controller is because the, uh, it takes triple A's as well, which isn't the end of the world. I buy them by the 24. Oh, back is killing me. You vex me so. I seem to have this awesome steering, but no motor. Wires are both there. Get her to turn. No response, though. Texted him first. Maybe I should clean my nose before the take. <clears throat> or I could be myself. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Right. Up. Up. That way. Up. Hi. Come on. Hi. Old dog. Yeah, Molly's almost 10. So I give her all the love and I can. I just got home, so she needs her pets. 
Now she needs a little bit of a belly, standing belly rub. With her claw in my jugular. Or collarbone. Ah. Big old sharp golden claws. They're fantastic. Okay, I love you, but get down. Ow, ow. <laughs> Okay, stop it. You big weirdo. <coughs> okay, sorry, I got sidetracked. By a big dog. <coughs> Dry. Okay, this is still the same beer that apparently only has one mouthful left anyway. From this morning. Or earlier today. <coughs> so I go to Rookies, and I say this to Rookie. So, I got a brand new Mini Z Kyosho 4x4. Molly, stop it. And out of the box, no motor. He's like, what do you mean it doesn't have a motor? No, I'm kidding, he didn't say that. Um, <clears throat> no motor response. So, I look at this here manual for the troubleshooting way at the back. I was about to start reading French. <clears throat> Motor or model doesn't move. Make sure transmitter and chassis are on. Polarity or battery type is wrong. Batteries have run low. Pairing is cancelled. LED on chassis is flashing. LED on chassis takes a long time to light up. So these are all the things that are involved with the motor apparently. So I tried all that crap and I couldn't get it to work. <clears throat> I go down to Rookie's place and I start Googling it. Uh, and right off the Kyoshua website it is uh, the first thing of frequently asked questions is out of the box, the motor doesn't work, but I still have steering. They say, tighten the motor screws. <laughs> so yeah, thing works just fine. I'm a tool, apparently. Ah, oh, that was embarrassing. It works just fine. I don't know what tooth is in there already on its own, but it comes with like five more to change it up. If anything, I might slow it down to get a little more crawl at the bottom end. But when you get into microelectronics, you can't expect perfection. Like there was a guy online who was playing around with his axial, and he's pro Kyosho, uh, a little negatory on the old axial. <coughs> That's plugged in. Um, there's a switch on here somewhere, there it is. And he was doing stuff like... See, you can't get any slow control. As soon as I hit the throttle, it goes. You just have no control. I don't know, buddy. I just think you don't know how to drive an RC very well. I can get all the slow crawl I want. I think it's okay. Is that the axle? And it's got oversized tires, sure. Squeal. Right up on the hood. <coughs> the monster. But yeah, I can make an axial crawl, no problem. I just think the guy hates axial for some reason. So anyways, in case I didn't mention it, that was super embarrassing. Rookie and I laughed, ha ha, and so now I'm back. going to not really do a comparison of these two. I guess, kind of, because they're... I have the low seat tracker as well. It's just it gets too hot too fast. It's not enjoyable. Tons of power. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Don't go off the table, Jesus. This is one of the biggest things you're going to notice between the difference between the SCX24 and the Kyosho. <coughs> Pardon me. That little motor, it does pretty good for uh, what it's set up for with the worm gear. Now the ring and pinion in the Kyosho, but check out that motor. That's a beefy motor compared to this guy. So I can get them side by side there, kinda. But look at the size of that motor in the Kyosho. That is a beefy, there it is, sorry. That is a beefy unit. I don't know how to get you the best view on that guy, but there's that. <coughs> Suspension's pretty good. Now the main thing, well not main thing, but 
one of the cool things that I got to check out right away is how well it performs because of course that's going to be the key factor, right? Price, ah, it'd be nice if it was a bit lower, but it costs the same amount as the Kyosho Mini Z racers, like the all-wheel drive. Totally different motor, totally different setup. Metal adjustable links, which is nice if you're going to change bodies, I guess, but I feel like plastic drive shafts and housings. All right. Ready to give this thing a go. No clock. <clears throat> what I've done, just did my typical little course here. Oh, I'm sorry. Just got to get around there. I think I got six sets of cones. Not that it really matters to you guys too much, but I got the directions of the cone, the numbers. You have to go through the numbers facing, so there's no left and right cone. It's just go through the numbers which are facing you, which there's only me, so it doesn't really matter. Now, <clears throat> so this is my first real test of it. Drove it on Rookie's workbench. Drove over a couple plastic skids and things like that. Not that this is going to be much tougher. There's a couple of places it's going to be difficult. I'm probably going to roll it over. But I think I might take this thing down to uh, River Trail West or Dribble Trail bleh, River Trail East tomorrow to uh, give her a go. But let's see how this goes. Oh, <clears throat> the reason why the camera's so far away is this is a squealer, just like other uh, micro or mini or whatever RCs. They all squeal for some reason, and uh, drives me nuts. So the camera's a little further away to hopefully minimize that. Oh no! Great beginning. string see if that helps. There we, oh Jesus. I didn't know how this log passing was going to work out. It's not tight so I don't think it's going to work very well. <clears throat> it's not liking my course. through gate two. Thank God there isn't a clock on here. I have removed the rear tire. Spare tire. I don't know if that was the tire's fault or not, but I liked it. Slow crawl is nice. Let's see, how's that camera doing? It's got it. So I got it, that was three, and I got to come back through four this way and onto the floor. That servo is nice and strong, no problem moving it under stress. That's not a bad side hill there. And where's five? Five got to get to the other side. Still doing good? Yep, I got gotcha. you. grab there but I don't want to hit the cone. Man those lights are bright. Kick-ass. There. Now I gotta go through down six this way. Still getting that a little bit. Six, six is down there. No problem with the downhill. It's gotta be a way.
up there. Oh, come on. Okay, a true finish. Holy crap, how long did that take? Nine minutes and ten seconds for me to get through that course. Warm. Oh. Yeah, so it's a little too tough in spots. Only because, like, the diff's getting hung up or the breakover angle isn't as good as it could be or should be in some places. The, uh... Other than that, yeah, if I could... Shave some spots on the course, tighten up that bridge. There's stuff that could be done. I'm tempted to go through it with the SCX24, but that's base, almost the exact same course that I did with the SCX24 already. So you guys have pretty much seen that. And plus it would take up more time. This video could be longer than it should be already. But yeah, I like it. And especially with an hour runtime. I don't know if, I'll, if I said it or if I heard it. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> that's because of all this pink foam. But uh, I will... But with an hour runtime, I can grab the batteries that are still in it, because apparently I've only ran it for about 10 minutes now. Off. And it's got the light kit, so the light kit might affect it. Instead of an hour, you're going to get 50 minutes or 55 minutes or something. I doubt it's going to affect it much. But yeah, I like it. Uh, it scared me with the... Let me do the remote. Oh, there it is. Yeah, but it scared me with that loose screw. It was food. I was dumbfounded when again went to rookies and I googled it because I read the manual here and it said nothing. But yeah, good truck. <laughs> so that's about it for now for the truck, guys. I like it. I got nothing negative to say. She's a good unit. Thanks for watching.